Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, I am going to show you the lab activity related to the preparation and standardization of M by 100 EDTA solution. This EDTA solution is very important while we are determining the hardness of a given water sample. We are going to determine the calcium concentration in a given cement sample as well as we are going to determine heavy metals. Therefore, the lab activity related to the preparation of EDTA solution is very important. So, before showing you the lab activity, I am just going to show you the calculation part first. So, here I am going to show you the preparation of EDTA solution and how much weight of EDTA we have to take. I am just going to show you here. So, here is the formula in which molarity into molecular weight into volume in ml if this is in ml it is it has to be divided by 1000 otherwise it is in liters right so here i am just want going to prepare m by 100 edta solution and the molecular weight of edta is 372 and i just want to prepare this edta solution in 100 ml therefore i have to divide this equation by 1000 and on solving this, I am just going to have 0 0.372 grams per 100 ml solution. Actually, this is the weight of disodium salt of EDTA. So, here this is just for the preparation of M by 100 EDTA solution. Right, so this is the molecular weight of disodium salt because EDTA itself is insoluble in water. Therefore, we are using disodium salt right now i am going to show you the lab activity so the lab activity and here is the disodium salt of edt and its molecular weight is 372 so from the calculation part i just get to know that i have to weight 0 0.372 grams to prepare 100 ml of m by 100 edta solution so here you can see the weight and now I am going to dissolve it in 100 ml measuring flask. So you can see I will just make it up up to the 100 ml up to the mark and now shake it well and then I am going to transfer this M by 100 EDTA solution in the beaker. So here for standardization of EDTA what apparatus we require I am just going to show you that. So, measuring cylinder, beaker, conical flask, standard hard water, EDTA solution which we have prepared, EBT as an indicator, dropper and unknown hard water. So, first I am just going to rinse this burette with EDTA solution. So, I am just going to fill this EDTA in the view rate and this is more than the zero point right this is just because i just want to fill this nozzle also and now i clamp it now i'm going to take hard water or standard hard water which i have prepared so before using this hard water i'm just going to rinse my measuring cylinder as well as the conical flask now i am just going to throw this and now i am just going to have 25 ml of this standard hard water so here you can see this is standard hard water i have transferred in the measuring cylinder and it is 25 ml right now i am going to transfer it in the rinsed conical flask after transferring the hard water to this conical flask, I am just going to add 0 0.5 ml of basic buffer to maintain the pH about 10. So here I, am, I have added basic buffer or ammonical buffer to this hard water solution and after that I'm just going to add two three drops of EBT indicator which is an internal indicator and it gives wine red color. 
now i'm going to titrate it and uh, just to determine the end point i have kept over there a reference solution now we are about to reach our end point and here you can see the end point now i'm just going to have the final reading of the view rate which is 23.5 now the observation and calculation part so for this titration i have taken 25 ml of standard hard water sample and the initial reading of the view rate was 0 and the final reading after titration where the end point occurs is 23.5 the initial reading from the final reading i get the volume consumed of EDT against this 25 ml of standard hard water. So it is 23.5 ml. Now on applying the molarity equation M1V1 is equal to M2V2. So this either side you can take EDTA and on the other side you have to take the standard calcium carbonate. So that is all your choice wherever you can use EDTA or standard calcium carbonate solution now putting all the values here so i know the volume of edta consumed is 23.5 against m by 100 which i have prepared the hard water and i have taken 25 ml of that hard water so on solving this i'll just get molarity of the edta solution so how much concentration i have prepared i have prepared 0.01 but instead of that, it is having 0.010638 molar, right? So that is why we need to standardize our solutions to know the exact concentration. This is how we can prepare the molar solution of disodium salt of EDDA. I hope you find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.